Hey guys, I'm back, and after the feedback on my recent video, I've decided to make this into a series. In this video, I'll show you how to key out green screens and position them in frame. To start, create a new project, cut up your clips, and import your green screen. All of this was covered in my previous video linked down below. Now that your clips are all ready, click on your green screen clip, right click on it, and select new fusion clip. Click on it and hit this little tab right here. So it'll send you into the fusion section. Now it should look exactly like this when you just load in. Go over your media in and click that little dot to put it on the left side of your screen. Now press control space and search for ultra key. Click OK and it should pop in right here. Click the eyedropper tool and drag it in. Now you should see that your green screen is completely gone. You can then adjust some of the parameters, but I think this is pretty good. Go back to the edit tab, click on your clip and drag it over. Now your green screen is on your clip. Now if you view your clip, you should see that the background is completely transparent. Now for my green screens, I like to do the same process that I did in my video, where I freeze frame onto the clip I want. Now that you found the frame that you want, get your blade tool out and click right on the uh, beginning of the frame. Click your right arrow key once and clip again. Now zoom in and your clip should be right here. Click it and select change clip speed. Set it to freeze frame and click change. Move your other clip over, drag out your small clip, move it over and drag it as much as you want. Take your green screen and put it on top. Now that you have your frame frozen, you can adjust the green screen to wherever you like. Click on the zoom to zoom it in and out, and click on the position to move it left or right. You might also want to zoom in your regular clip, so do the same for this. Now I'm happy with this, so you can watch it through, make any final adjustments, and that's it. Repeat this process for as many times as you want, and you'll have a pretty good looking video. Don't forget to get rid of the sound for your frozen clip. Click the link button, select your audio, and hit delete to get rid of it completely. Remember to put the link selection on afterwards. Thank you guys for watching, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.